Let's take a look at the changes to sketch mode in Creo Parametric 7.0. I've got a part started. Let's select the datum plane top, and then I'll click sketch from the mini toolbar. Let's change to a sketch view. Nothing different so far. Let me turn off my datum plane visibility. Where you'll start to see changes is when you make geometry. Let's create a center rectangle, and you'll notice as I move over stuff, it becomes pretty obvious what you are locking into. So I'll just create a rectangle about yay big or so. Uh, also, if it looks like the lines are thicker, they change the default line width. And later on, I'll show you how you can change that from a config.pro option. Let's create one other entity. I'm going to sketch a circle over here. And again, you can see pretty obviously what it is locking into. Let's drag the circle about yay big. So that is uh, what I'll start off with. Now, also, if you take a look, the way that the constraints are displayed is a little more obvious. They're sort of sitting on a background. Let's see how you can change those different settings. I'll go to File, Options, and then Entity Display. And if you scroll down in the window, here we have a new set of options for the Constraint Display setting. You've got a preview of what it looks like. Here's how you can make them bigger. And as I make it bigger over here, the preview changes as well. I have a little warning here that I haven't updated my Creo Parametric Customization file. These settings will automatically be saved in here. If you decide that you want to go back to the default icon size, you've got this button for it. And if you want to change the background color for the constraint, you can do that as well, and the line color. So those are some of the different settings that you have in here. Let me cancel out of the options dialog box. Another big change, and I'll admit that people have been asking for this for years. Let's say I want to mirror this circle. I will select it and then click on the mirror icon. And now I can just pick my sketch reference to mirror it about. There's no need to create center lines anymore when you want to mirror. And you can mirror entities about sketch references, any lines, basically anything that is straight in your sketch, you can use to mirror your different entities. All right, let's see some other things that have changed. Let's uh, change a dimension. Let's create a dimension. I'll create a dimension from here over to there, and then middle mouse button. And let's change this, maybe make it 400. And then when I select the dimension, oops, let me get out of dimension mode. When I select the dimension, see how the different entities are highlighted on here? It's going to show you exactly what is being dimensioned there. Similarly, if I hover over this uh, dimension, you'll notice that the line highlights if you're creating a dimension that just measures the length of the entity. Let's change this one as well. Let's make this 320. That is good. And same thing for the circle. I move my mouse over the circle, and it's going to update it. Oh, one other thing to note about doing this mirroring. There is a, another option related to this. If you go to File, Options, and then Sketcher, scroll down inside of here, there's this option underneath Symmetry Settings to lock the axis of symmetry. And if you have this one set, then I believe from what I understand from reading about it, if you ever change the entities that you're mirroring about, it's not going to uh, m end up updating the sketch here. And if I hover over, you can see that there is a new config.pro option you can use to set this, and it is Sketcher Lock Symmetry Axis. And I'll show you another config.pro option at the end of this video. All right, let's cancel out of here. Uh, speaking of settings, there are a couple new commands for settings that we have here. If you go to the setup drop down menu and then go to this new snapping settings command, here's where you have the options to snap to model geometry and instant snapping to model geometry. From the tooltips, you can see the corresponding config.pro options. So they made those options quickly and easily accessible right here inside of the sketch. Okay, speaking of config.pro options, let me hit the check mark to get out of here. 
if I go to File, Options, and then Configuration Editor, let's use the Find button. Now type in the keyword Sketcher to show you some of those different options. Let's click Find Now, and I'll just make this a little bit taller and a little bit wider. So that one that I just mentioned, there is the Sketcher. Where are you? Sketcher Lock Symmetry Axis. So that's that config.pro option. That corresponds to the new mirroring settings in here. Uh, let's see another one that you have. Let me scroll up over here. Uh, show Sketcher Constraint Dynamic Edit. Now I'll demonstrate that one to you in a moment. By default, when you use edit dimensions on a sketch, it doesn't show you the constraints on the screen. And this allows you to have the constraints displayed, but you can also display them from right mouse button. And the other option that I wanted to show you in here, sketch or line width. This new default value is 1.5 to make the geometry a little bolder in sketch mode. All right, let's close out of here. And I want to show you that last thing. It's not really directly, in, it's related to sketches, but it's more of a part mode command. Let me hop over to my multi-body model over here. Let's say I decide that I, I want to make some changes to sketch two. From the mini toolbar, I can choose edit dimensions. And it shows me all the different dimensions that I have in my sketch over here. If I hold down the right mouse button, here we have the display options. And this is if you wanted to show the constraints in the sketch. And you can see that when I show the constraints, it really does clutter up the screen. So that's why they have them turned off by default. But again, you can use that config.pro option if you do want them displayed when you are using edit dimensions. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.